BTC running. SHIB running. The entire crypto space is looking good right now. Shiba Inu is back up at 5084. And this is exciting. But that's not what I'm going to talk about in this video. That's that's something for uh, another video entirely. We're coming on good SEC news. Great sign. But what I want to talk about is I haven't seen one good reason as to why SHIB won't perform well in this bull market cycle. I haven't seen one. People have tried to say a lot of things, but frankly, they don't really make any sense. And I want to talk about these with you guys. So many things that that people reference will be price, right? Price, price, price. And I will remind people, price is a lagging metric in a bear market cycle. People say, oh, it's still down 90%. A lot of assets are down 80 to 90% still, because guess what? We're still in a bear market. We haven't gotten to the times where there's mass influx into, into crypto. There's a lot of things that still haven't transitioned over to this bull market period yet. That's when assets are truly going to perform well. So price right now doesn't really matter that much. It's really been just opportunity to continue adding more to your bag. Utility. Utility is another thing people have talked about. I will advise you to look around the space at how many coins actually truly have utility. And most of them don't. Some of them, their, their sole purpose there is to be a spendable token, right? And guess what? SHIB can do that too. So if SHIB has no utility, those have no utility. But I will remind you, SHIB is also a governance token. It's also deflationary. It has very unique tokenomics that most other coins don't have. It's deflationary, right? And it can get to the point of being hyper deflationary. That's, that's a story for a, a different day though, okay? So another thing, people have said, people are leaving SHIB. They're going to other meme coins. I've seen people say Pepe is the coin that they're going to. No, they're not. Shiba Inu holders, non-zero addresses, people that actually hold SHIB right now are at an all-time high, all right? That means when you look at the height of the bull market cycle, when SHIB was 10 times higher in price, there are more holders right now than there were at that point and gaining. SHIB is actually picking up steam. More and more people are interested in SHIB. There are now more whales holding SHIB than ever. It's well positioned for this bull market cycle. Lastly, <laughs> supply. Supply, supply, supply. That is something that people have mentioned time and time again. And here's the thing. Supply really isn't that big of a deal. SHIB price is not high enough to where the supply is going to influence price movements to the upside. All right. SHIB still has a lot of ground that it can move before that supply really becomes a, a big deal. Okay. And market cap truly is just a vanity metric anyways, but I'll, I'll, in, in, get, I'll indulge you for a moment. All right. When people are getting into this space for the first time, are they looking at supply? No, they're not. They're looking at price. How much can I put in my bag? And I talked about this, right? Again, if you're looking at a coin that's $60, you're looking at a coin that's, you know, five zeros, eight, which one are you more likely to buy? From a psychological standpoint, you're going to buy the one that's cheaper, right? If you don't know anything about investing and anything like that, which is a lot of people that are going to be getting into crypto, by the way, especially during mass adoption, SHIB has a natural path for easier adoption, all right? But let's let's not even look at that. Look at the optics that SHIB has outside the space. It's the fourth most searched coin. It was the fourth highest in social metrics just recently here. People are interested in SHIB. We, again, just haven't seen that move towards a bull market cycle. We haven't seen that influx into crypto yet. We haven't seen that mass influx of users. That comes later on here. That I wouldn't expect to see that right now. That'd be totally bizarre and something that we haven't seen yet at this point in a market cycle. So these things that people are referencing don't really make sense. Now, I do want to say this. SHIB does have to uh, make a move here, okay? It, it's on the bullish side of things. Don't get me wrong. It's not insanely bullish, but we are on the bullish side of things. We're breaking through some of these trend lines. We're falling out into this five-wave pattern, and we need to break through this long-term bearish trend line, all right? This has been playing out during this bear market cycle. Many assets have broken through their bearish trend lines, and now SHIB looks like it's going to take a move sometime between middle of the month and end of the month. So sometime here in December, SHIB is going to try to take another stab at this resistance like we did back on November 11th. So be prepared for that because when that does happen, especially if it's to close out the year, if we open 2024 like we did 2023, all bets are off for SHIB. <clears throat> we could see very, very quick price movement. Again, once we break through these resistance ranges, SHIB moves very fast. So just be prepared for that. So I'd, I'd still like to see if someone has one reason 
why SHIB won't do well. The metrics are actually very good. The optics are very good. The community is active in terms of development and gaining adoption and new utility for SHIB. Right now, there's not a lot of communities that are doing that. And remember, SHIB is less than, less than four years old, hasn't been through a full bull market cycle. And now it's going into a time where it can truly see adoption. So I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.